Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And today you join me, I'm at a lovely small cascade and I decided to make a video to show the differences that are there with different exposure types. And ever since I had the video in relation to the new filter system that I'm after getting, which is these, which is the Case Revolution Magnetic, uh, I've had a couple of people ask me actually, you know, how good are they and what's the difference between each of the filters? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sequence of shots, exactly the same shot, and I'm going to introduce different filters at different stages. So to start off with, I have no filter whatsoever on the camera. And what I'm going to do is take a shot in relation to that. Now, what it's giving me here is F8 and 1 50th of a second at ISO 100. So I'll take this first shot now, which would be a shot that you could get if you had no filters. I'll give you a look at it and then we'll come back and I'll introduce the first filter. Okay, so I'm going to introduce the first filter, which is my polarized filter. And the advantage of these have is I don't have to worry about getting around to the front of the camera because it just simply magnetizes on. And then all I need to do is turn the polarizer to be able to see the difference in what it can actually do. So I'll jump over to this camera now and I'll give you um, a, a look at exactly what the polarizer can do for the composition. Right, so looking at the image here now, you can see that there's a big sheen over here on this rock. And what the polarizer will do is it will help you to remove any sheen whatsoever. So you look here now, that rock is getting darker. If I go too far, it goes bright again. But right now, I'm utilizing the polarizer to remove the sheen from the image. So what I'm also going to be able to do is have a bit of a longer exposure because what this is doing is increasing the amount of stops that you have. So I'll take the second shot here with the polarizer and I'll show you what that does. Right, so that's the polarizer on it now, and as you can see, it takes away a beautiful aspect in relation to the sheen and makes the image a lot more pleasing. What that will also do is if you've got a pool of water, it'll take away any of the reflections as well, so you can see directly into that water. So the next filter I'm going to introduce now is the ND8, and what that effectively is going to do is to give me three additional stops of light or control of light. So I can actually put this directly onto the front of the lens. I don't need to mess around, I don't need to take off the filter. And again, ease of use, just clips on like that. And then when I want to see what type of exposure time it's going to give me. So if I change this here now, so we can have a look here. My original one was 1 50th. And now with this, I can actually increase my exposure time here to one second. And one second, what that's going to do is it's going to allow the water to flow through while it's taking the image and then you get a nice movement within the water as well. So I'll take this shot next, I'll give you a look at it, and we'll come back and we'll introduce the next filter. So the next filter I'm going to introduce now is the six stop filter. So it is the ND64. And again, by just placing that at the front here, what that's going to give me now is six stops. So I can now move this along here from what I would have had from my previous exposure. And now what I'm getting here is a six second exposure. So I'll take this shot now. The water is going to be a lot more 
smooth it out, but the static element is going to remain the same. I've left the polarizer on to keep away that glare off the rock and to be able to see into the water as well below there. So yeah, I'll take this shot next. So the last shot there was six seconds. So if I move on to the next filter, which is the 10 stop or the ND1000, that's going to give me four additional stops. Now, with every single pack, there's a calculation table that you get with it, but it's easy enough to calculate if you think I had six seconds at uh, uh, six stops. So seven stops is going to be 12, eight stops is going to be 24, nine stops is going to be uh, 48, and the 10 stop then is going to be 96. So 96 seconds, which is a minute and 36 seconds is what I can get from the shot using exactly the same setting. So if I put that on here, that's gonna go completely black. I can't go up to that obviously length of time in the standard settings in the camera, but if I go into bulb mode and then I make sure that I'm at my same setting, which was F8, I can now get uh, that exact exposure time. So I'll take that exposure now, you'll see a massive difference in relation to this because the water is going to be like milky smooth with the static elegant in the rock and I'll take that shot now and show you the final shot in relation to using the filters independently. Right, so that's using all of the filters there from Case. They're a phenomenal set of filters. I would really recommend them because the ease of use is fantastic. You know, like I said in the video that I would have got them, there is zero color cast. And also as well, you've got an advantage that you can stack multiple filters. So if I have, for example, my three stop and my six stop, and I want to go to nine because 10 is too much, I can put the two of those together. Or if I want to put the polarizer and a tree stop like I've done, or just a tree stop on its own, I can do that. I can mix and match whatever I need to be, depending on the situation that I'm in. Also, I've used this waterfall because I wanted something consistent. I could show you the exact same examples in Seascape, but you're going to have different waves. So here, at least the water is going to be constant, coming in a flow, so you've got to see what difference each of the filters will allow you to do. So, thank you very much for watching this episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something in relation to these fantastic filters from Case. If you'd like to watch another episode, you can link to this one here. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you on the next one. Schlong the Fall.